At least I figured it out at the beginning of the video this time. So microphone's on, autofocus is off. Hopefully I'm in focus. I am filming this video late. I am sick as I have had the flu. I don't feel any better, but I am committed to you and to this channel. If my voice sounds off or if it sounds like a little sexier than usual with all that rasp, it's because I have the flu. I've had the flu for days. Today, we are tier ranking every movie that I watched in 2023. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear my voice? Anybody out there? Anybody hears me? Please respond. First, we have to figure out our tiers. So obviously we need a god tier. God tier, god tier, god tier. We need wonderful. Just wonderful, something that's under god tier, but still great. Oh, these colors are gonna be so messed up. We need one that's just for... The movie is filled with hot people. And that's mostly what the movie is. And that's gonna be called Redacted because most of the movies where you see my letterbox reviews and it's censored across the whole thing, that's where these are gonna go. It's Redacted. We're gonna, we're gonna have to make more of these actually because under Wonderful, we're gonna have just a fun little time. Still not bad, but just a fun little time. I love mid movies, obviously. So we have to have mid, smiley face, and then Add a row below because we have to have mid frowny face because there is a big difference between good mid movies and bad mid movies and I will teach you the difference today. What else is happening? What else do we need here? You know what? We're gonna add three rows below. Under mid frowny face. Oh, this is gonna wind up being a little chaotic, isn't it? We know what we need. We need a row for movies that I barely remember, which is no thoughts head empty because there are movies that I just do not remember at all. <laughs> not mid, not good, not bad, and I just I don't remember anything about it. You know that one's gonna be in the middle actually. That's in the middle of the two mids. You know what we need a we need a demigod tier actually. That's gonna be up oh 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 god okay. I've clearly never used this website before. And then at the very bottom we're gonna have ass just movies that are absolute ass. Oh am I gonna get in trouble for that? But Movies that are butt. Absolute butt. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine tiers. All right, well, that seems, that seems right. <laughs> that, seems, that seems fine. There's a little bit of uh, chaos going on here already. That's fine. It's, we're sick. We have the flu. We, we're, this is just, this is for fun. This is for funsies. We're having a good time. I'm also, once again, in a new space. I'm in an Airbnb now. <laughs> so I don't get my dad sick. So I'm in this cute little Airbnb. We got cute little fake plants. We got candlesticks. We're we're having a good time. We're having a bad time, actually. We're having a bad time. But now we're having a good time because we get to tier rank. Anyway, sh shut the f up. L let's go. So we have 121 movies that we are tier ranking here. I watched more than that. La uh, more more than 121 movies last year. But some movies I rewatched. The very first movie that I watched on January 1st was Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And this was fun. There were definitely hot people in here, but overall, I'm gonna say it's just a fun little time. Just a fun little, I don't remember what I, I don't remember what I rated any of these. So it's gonna be a surprise to me as much as it's a surprise to you. A fun little time, not very scary. A bunch of dumb kids. Next up was Jojo Rabbit, which it's hard to put a movie about Hitler in the wonderful category, but I'm putting it in the wonderful category. It was a great movie. You get to watch Hitler get Sparta kicked, which is kind of cathartic. I'm gonna stop saying his name. I, I, I don't want his name in here. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful little movie. Next up, All Quiet on the Western Front. I, good lord, I do not remember this <laughs> movie. I don't remember this. I don't remember this movie. Let's check Letterbox for a second. Let's check on Letterbox and see what on earth I gave, what did I rate this movie? What did I, you guys might be seeing the, the Letterbox review, so you would know better than I. I gave it a four stars. The world would be so much better off if it were governed only by women, and I mean that with my whole ass. Yeah, okay. So four stars, but I don't remember it. 
So it's going in no thoughts head empty. It's going right in there. Coherence. Oh my god. Coherence is a mind of a movie and it's incredible and honestly I don't- it's going to god tier. I might switch it down to demigod. I might. But right now it's going in god tier. If you haven't seen Coherence and you like your mind being f***ed with, please watch Coherence. It's so good. It's- it's really so good. I might move it down to demigod tier right now because I, I- I- next up is Interstellar and I'm reminded what an actual god tier movie is. I mean Interstellar is one of my favorite movies of all time. Full stop. All time. Absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen Interstellar, what are you doing? Go wa stop watching this video and go watch Interstellar right now. Like that's it, 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 absolutely insane of you. Shame. Shame on you. Next up is Four Christmases with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in mid frowny face. This is, this is like a Christmas rom-com. I can't go over each one. There's 120 with, it's it, mid frowny face. That's what it is. That's what it is. Just go with it, on the other hand, is gonna be mid smiley face. Anything Jennifer Aniston is in, most things Adam Sandler is in, are gonna be mid smiley face and above. So, absolutely. The Mummy is, oh, do I put it in God tier? I'm gonna put it at the beginning of demigod tier for right now, and, and maybe we'll move it up. But The Mummy is just absolute perfect. You know, you know what? Brendan Fraser. Brendan, oh, does, should it go in redacted? Maybe it should go in redacted. This is just, this is like God tier hot people. This is God tier hot people. Brendan Fraser, Rachel Wise. I mean, oof. Okay, right now it's going in redacted. It could go in kind of any of these top tiers though. So, okay, I'm fine with that for now. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is a demigod tier movie. Absolutely, 100%. Nothing more to say. Bad Moms. Oh, Bad Moms. Bad Moms. Bad Moms. Uh, bad Moms could go in mid frowny face in front of Four Christmases though that was a nightmare movie. It could go in mid frowny face. It could also go in redacted because of the review that you see right here. But I'm gonna put it in mid frowny face. Yeah, that feels right. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean goes in god tier. Absolute god tier. I can recite this movie front to back. I have seen this movie 400 times, probably. It could also go in redacted because god damn. You, 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 mm, mm, mm. But no, this is a god tier movie. Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers, Wedding Crashers, Wedding Crashers. Wedding Crashers, wonderful. Wonderful. I don't think Wedding Crashers is a mid movie. I don't think it counts as a mid movie. This is one of those that's so close. That would be like saying Step Brothers is a mid movie just because it's like a sophomoric movie. Not all sophomoric rom com, bro com movies are, are mid. Wedding Crashers isn't. Step Brothers isn't. Wonderful movie. Love it. Not everything has aged well in that movie. Spoiler alert. Chuck, oh god, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, has the honor of being in our first butt category. Has, has the honor of being the first in our butt category. Our ass, you know what? Is this gonna get me in trouble? Ass slash butt? Maybe. I'll keep it butt. Our first butt movie. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Couples Retreat, I'm gonna say, what's my review for this? Oh, okay, okay, so it's a mid positive review. So we're, we're going mid, we're going mid smiley face. We're going mid up, up mid, upper mid. We're going upper mid for Couples Retreat. Twilight, for some reason, on Letterboxd, this is the, this is the, uh, this is the poster that it gives me for Twilight, but you already know Twilight is god tier. Like there's no, there's no question. Twilight is god tier. My first four videos on this channel now, this is the second time that I'm going to be mentioning that Twilight is a movie that I can, in fact, recite word for word front to back. Absolute god tier. No questions at all. I need to go faster. We are taking so much time. Bones and all. Bones and All was a wonderful movie. Oh my God, so far in the wonderful category, I have a movie about Nazis, a movie about misogynists, and a movie about cannibals. All right, sure. Anyway, Bones and All, wonderful movie. Before Sunset, God. Before Sunset is a God tier movie and it will rip your absolute heart out, like full, your heart will be gone. If you haven't watched it, you should. I watched all three movies, Before Sunset, Before Sunrise, which is demigod tier, 
and before midnight, which is... That's definitely not a fun little time. Before Midnight, which is, I'll say wonderful. I watched all three of those back to back last year on Valentine's Day, and I don't know if that was the best idea. It didn't really make me feel romantic. Please watch these movies. And watch them all in a row. I mean, you might want to die at the end of it, but like, like watch them all in a row. What is this? What is this? This is Gravity. I don't remember watching Gravity. I don't remember watching Gravity at all. No thoughts had empty. I gave it four stars, so clearly it was good, but I don't remember it at all. Prisoners, on the other hand, Prisoners is a five-star movie, I know that, which puts it in demigod tier. Absolute bat crazy movie by the same guy who is making the Dune movies, Denis, in case you didn't know. Incredible. Amazing. Go watch it. National Treasure God tier. God tier. And I, I'm not, I will, I'll be taking no notes on this. National Treasure is a God tier movie. You will never find me being a Nicolas Cage hater. I love Nicolas Cage. If you haven't seen National Treasure, or if you have and you hated it, and you want movies where he is actually acting well, like he's a good actor in the movies, go watch Pig and go watch Mandy. Now, go away. Go watch Pig and Mandy. Oh, God, the opposite. I watched Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which gets our second butt award. Quantumania gets a butt award. And I talked, no, I didn't. I briefly mentioned the direction that Marvel is going in. And this is one of the main things that I'm talking about. Bad butt, just a butt movie, ass, it's ass absolute ass movie. Event Horizon, I don't remember a whole lot about this movie, but I do know it's absolutely unhinged, fully unhinged, and it is going into wonderful. It's going into wonderful. We don't have enough. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Triple Frontier, which goes straight into Redacted. Straight into Redacted. We have, let me pull up the cast. Hold on. Let me pull up the cast list for a second. The cast list. We have Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam, Garrett Hedlund, and Pedro Pascal. And and Ben Affleck, but I don't, I don't care about that. But having Oscar Isaac and Pedro Pascal in one movie, you can't, it, it can't be anywhere except for Redacted. It's Redacted. It's Redacted. Every review I have made and will ever make on Letterboxd for this movie will have to be censored in any movie I make about this movie. No, any, what? Any video I make about this movie. Redacted. Censored. Goodbye. Everything Ever All at Once is a perfect movie, which is why it's going in demigod tier. God tier, if you haven't figured it out by now, is a very specific tier for me. That's why I had to make demigod tier, because god tier is is kind of going to be a mishmash of just like very personal things for me. Everything Ever All at Once is a perfect movie. It's an absolute perfect movie. Demigod tier, done. Enemy was a ridiculous, wound up being a ridiculous movie. I'm going to say, I barely remember this. I'm going to say No Thoughts Head Empty. I barely remember this. I know Jake Gyllenhaal was in it. I know that the review that's probably here right now has a spoiler in it. Should I, should I censor that? Is that enough of a spoiler to censor? I don't know. I guess you know. I don't. You're seeing it post-editing, so. Inside Lewin Davis, redacted. Again, it's Oscar Isaac. It's a, a pretty no plot, just vibes movie. It's Oscar Isaac being a musician who is getting kicked around and it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful movie. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Shots. Beautiful. Oscar Isaac. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, no, redacted. Oh, I remember what my review is for this. I remember my, I remember Adam Driver is in this going, <laughs> recording a song going, outer space. <laughs> All right, still another hot person. Redacted. Redacted. Anyway, next. Wrong turn. Looks scary. Don't remember anything. Wrong turn. What is my review? The hills have sexy communist LARPers. Uh, no thoughts head empty. <laughs> what the f does that mean? The hills have sexy communist LARPers? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. Oh, people get lost in the woods and find a and find a commune of Vikings. I don't know. I don't know. No thoughts head empty. Clear, <laughs> clearly, 
No. The unbearable weight of massive talent is Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage, one of whom is my husband and the love of my life, and one of whom is Nicolas Cage, who's also the love of my life, but it, but in a but in a platonic way. You know what? This could go into wonderful. I didn't. I mean, a lot of people a lot of people hate it on the unbearable weight of massive ta massive talent. I didn't hate it. I thought it was it was just a fun little time. It could also go in redacted because anything Pedro Pascal does could go in redacted. But this is just a fun little time. And look how kind of even we are right now. We're pretty even. We're fairly even in here. By the way, you're hopefully seeing this on Wednesday. I'm shooting this on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Because I've just been feeling so... Blech. You know, fingers crossed this goes up on time on Wednesday. I watched Shadow Train Your Dragon for the very first time last year. And damn, it was good. During the, the, the test drive scene, whatever, on, on Spotify, the song is called Test Drive. I was levitating. I was floating. I cry if that song comes on now. It's, it's absolutely incredible. How to Train Your Dragon. Man, I want to put it in Wonderful. I don't want to put it in Demigod because it's just, it's kind of just, I'm putting it in Wonderful. It's going in Wonderful. Wonder, wonderful. Mulan, on the other hand, f***ing god tier. Mulan is god tier. The ultimate Disney princess. I don't care that she's not a legit princess. The number one Disney princess. She's a badass. She gets her man and her man is a bisexual. Li Sheng is a bisexual man and we love him. And we love her and we love grandma. God tier, God tier. Okay, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, I don't remember it. No thoughts had empty, I don't remember it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I know I just talked up the first one a lot. Still, still stays, first one's great. Second one, don't remember. And you know what, while we're at it, third one, don't remember. I don't remember, did I? write interesting nope did not write interesting reviews what does that mean nope nope no thoughts had empty i don't remember two and three i'm so sorry the little mermaid two <sighs> listen at some point i want to make a video about disney sequels specifically about disney sequels and there's one in particular and if you are a person of good taste of culture of standing you know which one disney sequel i'm talking about that's almost better than the first I think we all know what I'm talking about. Little Mermaid 2, honestly, sometimes I think it's better than the first one. It's going in wonderful. It's a great movie. It's not a great movie. What am I saying? It's not, it's a fun little time. It's a fun little time. Moana, however, God tier. God tier. What's my review for this? Oh, I should explain that. Small story time. I was at a gala, a gala, and I met Lin-Manuel Miranda, and I, this was right when Moana happened. This was right when Hamilton happened when it came out on Broadway. I met him backstage at this gala and I was so flustered that I told him that I fell asleep to Moana three nights a week. I told him to his face and then I said, uh, I, I, I love you. And he goes, thanks. And he walked away, which is just so nice. It's so good. What a good time. Anyway, oh, don't come for me. Tangled is next. Tangled, I don't care about. I don't care about Tangled. I don't care about Flynn Rider. I know he's some of your, your? Who am I talking to? He's some people's one true love, whatever. I don't care about Tangled. But it's not but. Oh, there should be another. I guess it's just a fun little time. It's just a fun little time. Okay, now we're in like the crux of mid movies. We are in the depths of the mid movie cave because we are, <laughs> We are coming to the production company that made Sharknado has made about 500 movies. Sharknado is just the only one that like got caught by the zeitgeist and blew up. My little cousins showed me two movies by this production company that I <laughs> cannot believe that I watched and they are called Zombies and Aquarium of the Dead. And I cannot believe I watched them. I don't remember watching them, but which one did I like more? Oh, I know which one I like. Okay, you know what? Zombies is going into mid frowny face. Aquarium of the Dead is going into mid smiley face. And you have to stick with me on that. It was just so wild. It was so out there. Don't question me. I'm correct. Super Mar- The Super Mario Bros. movie. But. But. It's a but movie. This is capitalism level 100. There was- There's no reason for any of this except for capitalism and- and money and I mean there's no reason to make any movies aside from oh I'm getting into a conversation I don't want to be in. Super Mario Bros is not a good movie. 
Sorry. Also, the Mario Kart ride at Universal is probably what gave me the flu. I was there on Wednesday, and I think that's where I got the flu. So f*** this movie. Okay, wow. Whiplash. Banshees of Inisherin. God tier. God tier. Banshees is one of those movies where there's, it's, it's all vibes, no plot. There's, there's barely a plot going on, and yet, like in the second half of the movie, you wind up getting more of a plot, and it's just unhinged. It's just wild. People are, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, um, uh, it's, it gets really unhinged and it's in Ireland, which is one of the more beautiful places ever. It has a lot of little animals in it. It's got the love of my, I know there's a lot of loves of my life, but the love of my life, Barry Keegan. Watch it. Watch it. Watch Banshees. Watch everything in this God tier section. This whole row. Watch these movies. Please go watch these movies. Knock at the cabin. <laughs> Knock at the cabin. Goes in. Mid smiley face. If nothing else, no, just a fun little time. It's going up. It's going in just a fun little time. It could go in either. It could go in either one. I'm a Dave Bautista stan. It, look into him. Look into his personal life. He's a good person. We love him. Armageddon is... Is this god tier? Is Armageddon god tier? No, demigod tier. Armageddon is demigod tier. Banger of a movie. Liv Tyler. Anyway, I need to hurry up. <laughs> I need to hurry up. I haven't even gone through half of these. I, I'm going to stop talking so much about these. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Wonderful, good movie. I cried over a cyborg raccoon. No Country for Old Men. I know culturally is a god tier movie. I understand that. I thought it was just a fun little time. I mean, I gave it, I gave it four stars. It's a fun little time. Maybe I'll rewatch it. Crazy Stupid Love. God tier. If you haven't seen Crazy Stupid Love, what the hell are you doing? Also, to this day, craziest plot twist. Craziest plot twist ever in cinema history. Insane. The Harry Potter movies, God tier. We're not going to talk about she who must not be named because f*** her. But the movies, gorgeous, beautiful, perfect. Love them. Avatar, Way of Water. No thoughts that empty? Do I remember this movie? Just a fun little time? Just a fun little time. The, the, the not nowhere near as good as the first movie. Clearly, the first movie was like an outlier of a, of a film. But significant other. Oh, I forgot about this movie. Significant Other is a, a horror movie that just feels a little bit different. I'm putting it in demigod tier. I think I gave it five stars. I gave it five stars. I This is this is a fun movie. It's fun. I don't think it would be in mid smiley face. I think that it's a, genuinely a good movie. It's weird. It's like a good, weird, scary movie. If you like weird horror, go watch Significant Other. Air! But air goes into but I wasted time in Ireland watching this movie and this might just be a me thing This totally could just be a me thing because I don't care about the history of sports or the history of Shoes, so maybe that's just a me thing jumper. Oh, hold on. Let's think Jumper obviously could be in mid smiley face, but I'm not leaving her there. Absolutely not jumper It came out I think in 2008 and I watched it for the first time in 2023 which is crazy, which is bonkers. I'm putting it, I'm, I don't care. I'm putting it in demigod tier. I don't care. I could watch this movie every day. I haven't watched it, you know, since June, 2023, but I could watch it every day. I think it's because I wish I could, this is a spoiler. It's because I wish I could teleport. I don't think that's a spoiler. That's the synopsis. That's the whole movie. Anyway, I wish I could teleport. Oh, why aren't these in order anymore? These are not in order, whatever. Sunshine. I watched Sunshine last year. What is it about? Oh, my review is going to be censored. Yep, my review is going to be censored. So that puts this right into redacted. Okay, X is wonderful. Where's Pearl? Pearl is... You know what? X is a fun little time. Pearl is wonderful. I feel comfortable with that. Extraction. Mid smiley face. Chris Hemsworth blowing up helicopters and 400 people and rescue... It's mid smiley face. Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny. What, what, what did I, what did I? Oh, I had fun with it and then everyone else didn't apparently. Okay, so just, so just a fun little time. I don't remember it. It could go in No Thoughts Had Empty. Oh wait, no, I no, 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 no. No, I remember some things. I remember a few things. The thing here that I am not proud of is that I've seen the first Indiana Jones, and now I've seen the fifth, and I haven't seen two, three, four. So maybe it would go higher or lower depending, you know, if I had had more of a connection with the middle ones. Barbie, 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 Barbie is demigod tier? 
redacted? Everyone is hot and Barbie. Wonderful. I'm stuck. I'm lost. Where the hell does Barbie go? Barbie goes. Barbie goes. Oh my god, screw it. Barbie goes and redacted. Everyone's hot. L listen, I know that there's more depth to the movie. Whatever. I can't figure out where else it's, it's gonna go. I can't, I can't decide. And you can't make me. It's a, it's a great movie. Everyone is hot. It gets to go and redacted. It deserves it. It earns it. Uh, The Meg. The Meg mid smiley face, 100%. The Meg is a perfect example of a mid smiley face movie, of a mid plus instead of a mid minus. Perfect example. It has Jason Statham. It has giant f***ing sharks. It has action. It has an adventure. It has people kissing when they really shouldn't be kissing. It has funny deaths in it. It's so good. The Meg is perfect. Kill Chain, on the other hand, Mid minus, absolute mid minus. I had no idea what was going on at any point. Oh, which is exactly what my review says. Okay, not a clue what was happening at, at any point in this movie. Like I was paying attention, I was so confused the whole time, but it was Nicolas Cage, so I watched it. Mid minus, mid frowny face. Spin me round, Sp spin me round, spin me round. What did I, what did I, what is this movie? Oh, this, all right, well, that's gonna be censored. <laughs> that's gonna be censored. This is going in no thoughts head empty. I don't remember this movie. I remember the part that I wrote about in my review. I remember nothing else. Oh, no, I remember something else. This is a weird movie. Whatever, no thoughts head empty. 65, another perfect example of mid smiley face of mid plus of mid max pro i bet i could remember i bet i could remember what my review says what this says without checking my phone first it's gonna say something like must a movie be good can't i just listen to adam driver grunt for 90 minutes what is it what is it am i right must a movie be good can't i just listen to adam driver grunt for 90 minutes and be at peace are you kidding me I'm so predictable. Okay, next. Oh my god, we have to get through these. This is good. This movie, this is gonna be 90 minutes long. Okay, A Knight's Tale, redacted. Hot people up and down. Kung Fu Panda, wonderful. New Moon, New Moon. We know where Twilight is. New Moon, New Moon, New Moon, New Moon. Demigod tier, because this is where we get Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? So it has to be up there. Talk to me. Oh God, talk to me was so good, but I do not want to watch it again. It was so good. And it was, ugh, there were parts of it that I just didn't, it was wonderful. The hell is that? What is that? What is that movie? Stowaway? Okay, I watched Stowaway. Uh, no thoughts, head empty. I don't remember this. No hard feelings is just a fun little time. That's it. It's, just, it's a fun little time. It is. Equals. Oh. Oh, redacted. It has Kristen Stewart. It has Nicholas Holt. It has yearning. Redacted. Smile. Oh, smile is f***ed up. Smile is messed up. Smile is, yeah, smile is wonderful. Smile is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Solace. Oh, I, I remember my review for this. Mm, no thoughts head empty. I know that my review says Alice Cullen versus Alice Cullen, which means that, that they, they're both mind readers or something, but I don't remember a damn thing. John Wick. Okay, this covers all the John Wicks. There's only one little square on here, but this is going to cover all the John Wicks. I'm going to go with Demigod tier. These are fun movies. These are great. And then I kept up the Keanu Reeves role I was on and I, wa I rewatched Constantine, which I'm going to say mid smiley face. I'm going to say mid smiley face. It's fun. It's not good, but it's fun. Prospect. Prospect? Prospect. <sighs> oh, <oof. laughs> all right. Redacted. <laughs> Pedro Pascal is in this one also. Redacted. The Woman in Black. Oh, The Woman in Black was wonderful. This was, this was great. This was fun. Right? What did I give? What, what rating? What rating did you get? Three. Okay, hold on. Three. It got three stars, which actually means it's probably mid smiley face. From what I remember, it's a pretty movie. It looks good. There's fog. There's a creepy island. There's Harry Potter. Okay, Red, White, and Royal Blue. It was just a fun little time. Just a fun little time. It's not the best movie. It's not the worst movie. It's just a fun little time. But I would say it's above mid. I don't think it fits in the mid category. It's a fun little time. Role models. Mid smiley face. This is my dad's favorite movie. If I, if I were to put it any lower than this, my dad would be pissed at me. And I'm not willing to risk that. Train to Busan. God tier. Absolute God tier. And Big Daddy in that blazer deserved better.
Moonfall, mid, <laughs> mid plus. A lot of people would disagree with me. I don't care. You give me an apocalyptic movie that had a budget big enough for the CGI to look like not totally horrific, I'm gonna have a good time. I'm having a good time. I don't care. And it's Patrick Wilson. Is his name Patrick Wilson? Yeah, Pat, yeah. Patrick Wilson. He was in Phantom of the Opera. I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna be mad at him. Oh wait, just kidding. I'm gonna be mad at him later on in this movie. So disregard, uh, dis disregard that. Narnia, God tier, God tier, always God tier. Surf's Up, one of my sister's favorite movies. Uh, you know what? I actually don't remember a whole, you know what? No thoughts head empty. I don't remember a whole lot about this movie. Uh, Gonjiam, Haunted Asylum, Demigod Tear. Scary. A scary, scary movie. W watch it. Great. The Others. Oh, The Others might be God Tear. Or what did I say? The Others. Oh, man. What do I do? 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 The Others. Nicole Kidman. Ghost. Haunted House. Whatever. It's a God Tear scary movie. Sure. No, it's not. No, it's not. Demigod Tear. Hunger Games, however. And this is Hunger Games and Catching Fire. I watched both. They're both in God Tear. Mocking Jay would be down into Demigod or, or Wonderful, even, maybe. But Hunger Games and Catching Fire, God tier movies, 100%. Theater Camp was just a fun little time. I also don't remember a whole lot about this. Meg 2, mid plus. I hope they make a thousand Meg movies. I really do. They have, they have a budget. Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Oh, am I gonna run out of battery? Uh-oh. Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm gonna say, wonderful. Had a good time. Not as good as the original movies, not, not even close. The Holiday is a god-tier ass movie. There's no better rom-com. There's not a single better rom-com on this planet. The Holiday is an absolute god-tier perfect rom-com. There is none better. The end. Finally, we get another but. Downsizing ass but very oh no i'm running out of battery solaris i kind of remember i think it was wonderful spider-man across the spider-verse is demigod tier it's one of the best versions of spider-man the illusionist is just a fun little time the killer no thoughts had empty i do not remember this i remember being a little bit bored i think but i don't really remember it blue beetle blue beetle my brother worked on this movie and therefore, Blue Beetle is God tier. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Rampage is mid plus. It is the rock. There are animals that are supersized thanks to radioactive space rocks, I think? Which, like, how, how do you hear that and not think, yes, that's a mid plus movie? Journey to the Center of the Earth, also mid plus. Brendan Fraser, teeny tiny Peter Malark, perfect. Uh, although, on the other hand, there was Journey 2, uh, which was but. The Day After Tomorrow is a god-tier movie. God-tier. Day After Tomorrow is the perfect apocalyptic film. I think it was one of the first... Ooh, don't quote me on that. But I feel like it was part of the run that started the trend of these apocalyptic movies. God-tier movie. No notes. Don't change anything. Here's where I'm getting mad at Patrick Wilson. Because Insidious the Red Door was... Ass. And also, I'll say this anytime that I'm able to, if you have emetophobia, don't watch this movie. Emetophobia. Do not watch Insidious the Red Door. Bad Times at the El Royale. Wonderful. Great movie. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is going in redacted. Bad Times at the El Royale. Everyone's hot. Everyone's hot. Redacted. Dread, honestly. <sighs> Dread is demigod tier. I watched that. That's not Dread. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh no, what have I done? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Where did Dread go? Oh my god, oh my god, there it is. Okay, <laughs> that was harrowing. Okay, Dread is going in demigod tier. It's so stylized, it is so brutal, <laughs> and it's so much fun. That awkward moment, mid positive. Or redacted? No, doesn't deserve to go redacted. Mid positive. Fun whatever throwaway movie. Such a throwaway movie. So mid. So fun. Supports that guy from. Saltburn. Sorry, my camera shut off. All right, next. We only have like a dozen more. Saltburn. Without a f doubt. God tier. Absolute god tier. I watched it last December for the first time. Immediately one of my favorite movies ever. Love Barry Keegan. Unhinged. Beautiful. Spider-Man Homecoming. It's just a fun little time. My favorite Spider-Man is Andrew Garfield, and I have nothing against Tom Holland, but I do harbor 
resentment for the fact that Andrew Garfield didn't get his third movie, but whatever. Along came Polly. It's just, it's just a fun little time. I think I was half watching. I don't remember this, this, this fully. I think I was half watching it. 40 Year Old Virgin is Demigod Tier, and it always will be. Fight Club, again, Demigod Tier. Should it be in redacted? Fight Club could be in redacted. I wonder Fight Club is hot. No, Demigod Tier, that's where it belongs. Hobbs and Shaw is the epitome of no thoughts, head empty. I wanted to put this in mid minus, mid frowny face, but I don't remember a goddamn thing that happened in this movie. So, yep, no thoughts, head empty. Oof, Dune is god tier. Dune 2 is also god tier. It, it, it's just, it just is. Oh, Krampus. Krampus is such a good movie. And I think I have blinders on because I actually don't know if it's good in a mid way or good in like a good, it's probably mid. It's probably a mid plus movie, but I'm putting it into demigod tier. I don't care. I don't care. I'm putting it into demigod tier. This is a great movie. This is so good. This is so much fun. It's about a Christmas demon. It's about, I think it's about who Santa Claus was actually based off of. Krampus? which is like an evil Christmas demon that eats your children. So good, so good. Adam Scott is in it. Who else is in it? Hold on, I'm gonna convince you to watch Krampus. Adam Scott is in it. Tony Collette is in it. David Kochner, who you might not know his name, but you definitely know who he is. Seth Green? What? Please watch Krampus. Watch Krampus. Oh no, the sun is setting. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, we only have four more left. The creator is I'm gonna say wonderful. The plot, something to be desired, but the cinematography is gorgeous, beyond gorgeous. So God tier cinematography and then like mid tier plot evens out to the wonderful category, the end. Geostorm, which is mid plus, absolutely. I think it's Gerard Butler in an apocalyptic setting. Oh, it is Gerard Butler. He works for the president. Perfect, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mid plus. The Boy in the Heron was wonderful. I have not seen enough of his movies, but this was so weird and just delightful. And it was like such a good time. And then finally, leave the world behind. I know what this is. Um, no thoughts head empty. That's where we're landing. We're landing at no thoughts head empty. And that's where we're staying. I barely remember that movie. I barely remember it. And so this is uh, this is our final ranking. I, it's, there's so many, I can't even get them all on one screen. I'll try and get a screenshot of all these. I'll try my best. No promises. So that was it. That was uh, all of the movies that I saw in 2023, tier ranked. And <laughs> listen, I'm I'm so sick. This is gonna be like a like a blackout for me. I'm gonna close my computer. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'm not gonna remember a single thing. I will not remember anything I said. I will not remember any part of filming this this video. So tomorrow when it hopefully goes up, I'll be just as surprised as you are and we can watch this video together and uh, we can uh, we can hope that I get less sick soon. But I'm glad you're here. If you made it all the way through this with my with my gross congested voice, thank you. If you can hear me, if you can read the subtitles, I'm so glad you're here. I love you. I hope to see you again soon. Um, anything Jennifer Aniston's gravity and I don't die of the flu <laughs> <coughs> I'm redacting too much sorry I'm sorry oh my god I'm so gross right now I'm so sorry I'm <laughs> falling asleep watching Moana f four nights a week. I shouldn't include that in this video. Should I, should I say that? Is that sad? <laughs> Zombies and a queer, whoop, hold on. I need to hurry up. Then you're not seeing this video. Then I scrapped it. Let's go. La, 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 la. Your girl has been sick. Your girl has been very sick. <laughs> The girl has been so sick. Out on. Well, there's gonna be a lot of. There's gonna be a lot cut out of this. Oi. Why was it not showing the whole thing? Oh my God! Can you fucking pause? I figured it all out.